Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley, and on this channel we talk all things budgeting and cash stuffing, including sinking funds and savings challenges. So today I have for you a cash stuffing. We are gonna be stuffing our bill binder and our variable expense binder today. So if that is something you are interested in, make sure you stick around for the rest of this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, y'all, let's get into it. All right, so like I said in my last video, um, I did have a very short work week. I ended up getting sick. Um, so numbers are going to be adjusted accordingly this week. If you wanna see my whole thought process on process on that, you can reference my previous video where I went over my budget for the week. Um, but just to kind of go over everything, serving, I brought home 314, cleaning was 60. Um, my husband did get, did get paid for this week, so that is 1,692. And then I did bring over some side hustle income, and that was $225 for a grand total of $2,291. <clears throat> we aren't cash stuffing all of that today. Um, we are just gonna focus on bills and variable expenses. And then my next video, we will go over all of my savings challenges. So that will include, include my subscription binder and my high priority sinking funds binder. But let's go ahead and start off in bills today. All right. Um, so we are finished with April. So we are working on starting with May's bills. Um, again, my bill binder uses all prop money. This is money I have in our checking account that our bills are auto drafted out of, um, but this is just my way that I keep track of everything. So we're gonna start off in mortgage and we are adding $990 today. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 920, 40, 60, 80, 90. And I should have 274 already in here. So let's add that in. Now this isn't going to fully fund our mortgage for May, um, but it'll get us close. And um, I don't focus on the mortgage till the second week, just because I technically have until the 15th before I incur any late fees. Um, so right now in mortgage, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So $1,264 for mortgage, which means we need just under $200 to fully fund this. So we'll be able to hit that easily next week. Um, next up is going to be HOA. HOA, we are adding $458 this week. So one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. And we should have $60 in here, which should bring our grand total to 518, but let's just double check. We've got one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 518 for HOA. So that one is now fully funded for May. Next up is our water bill. Um, we are adding $85 here today. So 20, 40, 60, 85, and we have $60 in here. Um, the water bill is every other month, and it was a little bit 
I just feel like everything's going up. So I guess this is kind of the new normal. $145 is what we're shooting for. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 45. <clears throat> So 145 for water. And that is now fully funded for May. Next up is our T-Mobile bill. Um, I am adding 147. So 100, 20, 40, 5, 6, 7. And there is $60 in here. So that should bring us up to 207. So 100, 20, 40, 60. 82, 5, 6, 7, and we are now fully funded for May for T-Mobile. Now, we are not putting anything in PayPal this week. Um, same with electric and natural gas. Those come out kind of mid-month. Um, car loan is empty. Cable is empty. Insurance as of filming has not come out yet for April. Um, I'm filming this towards the end of April, so it should be coming out soon. But I do have $200 in here for insurance and then $450 in here for Discover. So that is kind of what our binder is looking like at the end of April. <clears throat> All right, so that is it for the bill binder today. And now let's go ahead and move on to our variable expenses for the week. And I just realized I forgot to pull out um, my mini cash binder before doing this video, but that's fine. I don't really need it. I didn't spend anything out of my personal little mini binder this week. So I'll just leave the money that I have in there um, where it's at. Um, so in my envelope right now, I have $60 adding 25. So um, <coughs> pardon me. Like I said, I've been a little under the weather. <laughs> Um, I have money in my little mini envelope, but now just in my envelope in the variable binder, I have $85. Um, but overall between everything, I have $140 for personal spending. Um, next up is my husband's envelope. He currently has $75 in here and we're adding 25. So he has now hit his $100 um, threshold and this will get deposited into his checking account at the beginning of May. So that is all set for him. Next up is groceries. So I did um, empty out the variable expense binder last week. Um, we stocked up on a lot of groceries, so I'm not stuffing as much in here this week. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to do 150 instead of our normal 200. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So 150 in groceries. All right, next up is health. We're just gonna add $20 towards health this week. I don't really think we have to purchase anything out of there this week. Um, my husband might need to get a haircut, but that's probably about it. Um, and we can pull extra funds from somewhere else for that as well. Gas is going to get $60, 20, 40, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Um, <clears throat> when I go ahead and do my May budget with me for the month, we're going to kind of look 
um, throughout all of April and kind of figure out if $60 is a good place to be with gas. Cause like I said, I've been really struggling with what to put in my envelopes recently. Um, so we're going to kind of like look over all of our numbers at the beginning of May. So make sure you turn, tune in for that video. Um, sometime this week, pet care, I'm going to continue adding $100 in there. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, we'll just do all 20s for this one. So $100 for pet care. Um, my one dog, his vet visits are getting farther and farther between. So hopefully I can um, lower this here shortly because $100 a week is getting on the rough side. <laughs> Next up is dining. We're going to add $100 here this week. Um, that's just because I do have a Saturday off and we do um, <clears throat> want to go out and enjoy ourselves. We rarely get a weekend to go out as a couple. So that is what we are looking like. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So yeah, we kind of have a cute little date date day planned for this weekend. All right, and then fun is going to get 20. So we're going to do 5, 10, 15, 20. And miscellaneous will also get 20, so... 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so $20 now in miscellaneous. All right, and that is going to be it for this video. Uh, make sure you tune in next time. We're going to go over all of our savings challenges. So that will include the subscription binder and our high priority sinking funds binder. Um, but yeah, there's a lot kind of going on um, with videos because I am a little bit behind. So you will be getting a decent amount of content the next week, week and a half with me trying to catch up on everything. Um, like I said, next video will be a cash stuffing. And then after that, we're going to go over our budget for May and then our cash stuffings for the first week of May. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.